It's me, Michael, AKA Pandora Box, AKA Shimmer Box. My superhero name, because my box. So that's what all power is. It's superhero day, and these days there's no better place to get your geek on than the small screen, where nerdery rules the roost. Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is like a weekly mini-adventures, and Arrow serves us up superheroics with a heaping side of eye candy. Stephen Amell can hit me with Cupid's arrow, or any arrow, any day. New superhero pilots are in the works as well, with The Flash spinning off from a storyline on Arrow and Gotham, the story of Commissioner Gordon, and a young, newly orphaned Bruce Wayne, all of this geeky goodness almost makes up for the fact that they can't seem to get a decent Wonder Woman series off the ground. Almost. Of course, Geeky TV ain't just for superheroes no more, as genre shows continue to make fanboys drool. Game of Thrones, Orphan Black, Sherlock, Supernatural, Vampire Diaries, Almost Human, Doctor Who, Parks and Rec. <laughs> okay. Maybe Parks and Rec isn't a genre show, but Leslie Nope is a geek, and I geek out over her all the time. Nothing can compare to the classic cheese of the 60s Batman series. Ooh, pow, bam! It was nothing short of epic. I was also a huge Heroes fan, but midway through the show, I got confused in what they were trying to do. I think they did too. But the news is out that it's coming back as a 13-episode miniseries. Let's hope they get it right. Arrow, shoot me, please. They really need to bring the world of Final Fantasy X and X-2 to the television screen. I mean, how amazing would that be? Yuna, Titus, Lulu, best Final Fantasy story ever! I'd watch it. <laughs> 